Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Chotel, also known as the Aligner Bee, and I'm here in Miami, Florida at the American Association of Orthodontists meeting, and I am back with my friend, Dr. Kim, that we met at the IDS meeting with Graphy. Today, Dr. Kim is going to share with us some of the groundbreaking research that he is doing in polymer chemistry for direct printing of clear aligners. So I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Kim for him to share some more information with us. Uh, my name is Hun Kim. It's, uh, today, I'm introducing the, it's, uh, my research and it's, uh, our orthodontic materials. And so our material is uh, have a great uh, pointable some properties, uh, summer mechanical and uh, a portal curable chain memory resin so, and for clear aligner. Mm. Mankind is a uh, 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 for, uh, forehead from the it's a baseline is through the uh, industry revolution. It's a first industry revolution is by the steam power, and second is electricity, and third is IT electronics. What so is a fourth industry revolution is drive driven what from that uh, uh, technology? It's driven for the uh, automatics, robotics, and simulation and integration. Uh, things and cyber security and it's a big data. It's a this all things is a that real. So how to can make the real things is a through the, by the 3D printing techniques. Uh, 3D printing materials are so many kinds. It's a summer plastic and ceramic powder, metal powder, and UV curable resin. Uh, it's a printing the. Uh, method is uh, classified as by the two kind, so by the heat and it's a UV. The UV curing is uh, <coughs> uh, through the portal initiation process. It's a monomer and acrylic oligomer is uh, combined together. They make the structure. And also, uh, the so oligomer should be considering that their uh, structure and uh, uh, radical system and uh, uh, dark curing system and it's a secondary curing also have to be considered. And uh, in graphy, it's uh, synthesize our cell and it's, uh, we uh, build up the, the chemical structure about the oligomer, we ourselves. So, we so poly, polyro and diisocyanate is uh, combined together. We make the is uh, our suitable uh, oligomers. Uh, Ji and me uh, is uh, together is a study about the uh, uh, curing process during the uh, 3D printing. Uh, she is the first also, and I'm a second also. We uh, together uh, write down this paper. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, when the curing process is a portal resin, is a cure resin is area is to be stacked by stacking. Uh, it's a over cured re region is uh, existed. So then, after final product is depend on their curing curing uh, uh, time exposing time. The layer thickness is a uh, effect on the there is a curing ratio. Uh, this curing ratio is uh, by the so their depth, uh, length, and their uh, <coughs> thickness is affected. And also, they are is uh, stacked by the st uh, layer. So their curing area in, in increased. So when their curing area is uh, uh, different by the their uh, layer thickness. So when layer thickness is a uh, small, uh, is a uh, thin, their overcurring uh, region is uh, more bigger, and it's uh, do more uh, larger of the uh, uh, strongly, strongly cured. Mm -hmm. And it's a curing uh, depend on their curing thickness. It's uh, correlated with the over overcure ratio and the overcurring ratio is correlated with the ultimate tensile strength. We calculated ourselves. 
And this is uh, the final figure is uh, uh, by the layer, their ultimate tensile strength, uh, their so over curing, is a curing time and curing the so total energy is uh, correlated with uh, their ultimate tensile strength. So, it's a conversion ratio is a very important. So, when it's a UV3 curing. So, by the conversion ratio, there is the tensile strength is uh, be changed it's dramatically. Just uh, within uh, so 5%. So, but just the five percent is uh, over fifty percent of of between a gap of the tensile strength. Uh, in the dental orthodontics, three uh, D printing material also same. <coughs> uh, we guys already know about that. It's the dental part. It's a direct aligner or it's a uh, thermal formed aligner. The so market is uh, growing up. It's uh, dramatically. Uh, and also, it's, uh, when first the bracket wire system and stone mold and PTG and PTG sheet and finally direct tube printing aligner stage, we are now make the make, make, making the aligning uh, process is uh, at the first step is uh, 1950. It's uh, developed uh, using the, the stone mold. So. At that time, it's uh, make a lot of stone mold, and it's uh, by the sewing and adjust uh, each segment. It's uh, by the human, uh, by the by the hand. So there are so much uh, inaccuracy, and also too much resource to need it. At the second, a uh, second, it's uh, using the three D printing technology. It's a scan the data of, of the human human bodies. Then after the segmentation on on the computer. Then after print out the uh, 3D printed model. Then after vacuum form. It's a uh, at the stone mold vacuum forming and it's a 3D printed vacuum forming are same the using the vacuum forming process. Vacuum pro vacuum forming process uh, have a limitation. But it's uh, nowadays we just the uh, scanning the data. Uh, then after we segmentation in the computer, making uh, and then in the computer we pro producing the uh, aligner. Then after directly printed, don't need uh, any stone model or 3D printed model. We just print out. Then after uh, uh, after curing, it's a uh, direct aligner uh, processing is uh, complete. How much force is the suitable to the tooth movement? When the force is too low and the force is too high, both of the situation is uh, have a problem. And the Wu and E T A R uh, at the 2018, so they are uh, announcing the this rip, uh, paper. So. So tooth move orthodontic force is uh, between to the from the 20 gram to 200 gram between is uh, very optimal. They said it's a lower force than uh, general known. So larger different between types of the mo uh, motion. The design of the different force for each tooth re required and shape and thickness uh, is a fla uh, flavor. In this year, it's, uh, I study about the, our TC85 direct aligner uh, materials. It's, uh, I studied it deeply. So many orthodontists show to uh, talk to us. You guys, material is uh, very good. It's a uh, orthodontic result is uh, very uh, fast and uh, very accuracy. Show the very good accuracy. But so I'm I wanted to know. It's uh, how to make it. So I, using the DMA and the uh, tensile str mechanical str strength method, so I uh, uh, study deeply. And the result is uh, published onto the scientific report on this year uh, as a graphy and the, with the Yonsei University is a uh, uh, Cha uh, 
we together. The PETG is a should be so mimic to the vacuum forming situation. So there are so formed through using the standard model and vacuum form and the, this slide side we take it then after cut off for the mechanical strength and DMA. And also uh, same this uh, same like this like this sample we also 3D printed and then after cured and we, so we preparing the so static mechanical test and DMA test and shame memory test sample we take it. Uh, this is uh, it's a tensile strength uh, PTG and it's a directly 3D printed aligner so TC85. So as we can see in this graph, the PTG is so more strong than TC85. But uh, we before uh, before the slide, we sh uh, we know at the before the slide, as we know the higher force is uh, not good. So when uh, light, but right force is uh, more effective. Yeah between the it's a lower limitation, upper limitation, so between them, it's a more effective. So TC85 is a very effective uh, mechanical, pro uh, mechanical property shown to us. The PETG is a summer, form, summer, uh, summer forming material. Uh, PETG have a, a linear chemical structure, just linear. It's a very long linear chemical structure. They are entangled together uh, as a, a mechanically. This mechanically entangled chemical structure is a, a have a van der Waals force at the a room temperature. When they are so heated, uh, van der Waals force is lose it, and they are so slip. Or so uh, from the outside, they are forced and they are deformed their uh, chemical structure be slided. Then after, uh, when the uh, force is removed and then it's uh, temperature is cooled down, they do not come back again to the original shape. They did a memory. They don't, don't memory the original shape. Uh, Compare the, com uh, compared to the PTG, it's uh, the 3D printed material. So oligomer part and it's a monomer part during the 3D printed uh, photo curing system they are making the so network structure when they so forces from outside their structure be changed before before, uh, before the, they are broken before they are not uh, tiered they can be uh, come back to the original shape the monomer side so monomer just have a, just a single metacrylate uh, functional group. The single metacrylate functional group is uh, uh, growing to the, just a linear structure. But oligomer is have a two metacrylate uh, functional group. The, so one of the, them is uh, connected to the monomer groups, and the other side connected to the monomer group. There are uh, like a yeah I. Uh, structure. This is the eye structure. It's uh, connect together. So they make the network. So cross link network is a very important structure in the TC85. Using the DMA, the so TA instrument is uh, uh, built up in the USA. I bring to the Korea. Uh, I so deeply analyzing. The, their uh, mechanical property. Uh, before the checking the mechanical property, is uh, uh, we have to check the rheological property. So through the temperature sweep. Uh, PTG is uh, linear, look like linear structure modulus. Uh, this is the reason why, so, as I before saying. Uh, there is a chemical structure. It's a van der Waals force is uh, existed, and uh, they are entangled, entangled by the mechanically. 
before the TG glass transit temperature, they don't move. It's a PTG have an ar aromatic ring. It's a pi pi interaction and the other things. So uh, complicated existed in their uh, in their polymer. They are continuously stable before the uh, 90 Celsius. But TC85 not entangled together, they just make the network structure. At monomer have a uh, dangling the dangling side. Uh, it's a head, head is uh, it's a uh, acryl acryl side. It's the other things is uh, have a their vibration so during the temperature rising. So their storage modulus is uh, uh, temperature dependently decreased. At the uh, human body temperature, they, are, so they show the very moderate modulus. Uh, this is uh, using the DMA, uh, strain the 1% at the 37 Celsius at uh, Celsius and 80 Celsius. The TC85 and the PTG, the same temperature, their, uh, their mechanical property we check. TC85, when strained the 1%, they are, uh, as a creep test, they are decreasing the, their static force. Then after removing the uh, strain, they are come back to the original shape. It's a by the by, the, by the cycle, by the cycle, they are come back to the original shape. At the final stage, uh, static force show the, so one newton. Their witness is so five millimeter and their thickness is a five point 5 uh, millimeter. They are generating the uh, 100 gram roughly. Uh, compare the uh, TC85 PTG to show the very high strength. Just a uh, 1% witness is uh, uh, 3 millimeter and thickness is uh, 0 0.5 millimeter. They are showing the it's, uh, over 1 kilogram. At the 80 Celsius, TC85 show the it's a on off uh, on off movement when they stressed and go back to the right uh, go back to the so original shape so stressed and go back to the original shape so at the higher temperature they are showing the it's a over 10 gram but PTG at the at the at the 80 Celsius they didn't show any static force very low. It's a level of the so three or five grams, two or five grams, uh, two or uh, so roughly two grams. Yes. Uh, at the TC85, showing the moderate change is uh, moder generating the moderate force at the orthodontics. Uh, compared to PTG, is uh, any time they showing the it's a very a higher mechanical property. And so we have to know it's a TC85, how to change it in the body temperature. Uh, we take the sample and so they are banded at the 80 Celsius, then at the cool down, so to the room temperature. At that time, they are fixed. So the fixed sample put in the uh, warm water is 37 Celsius. A sample at that first time is banded, but by the time, so gradually go back to the original shape. Within one hour, it's come back to the original shape. Uh, finally, uh, uh, they, uh, we know the so shame memory effect is uh, real. TC85 and PTG, they're oh, at the high temperature, they are deforming. PTG do not come back to original shape, but it's a TC85 come back to the uh, come back to the original shape. Their memory about the, their original shape, and also uh, at the first slide, I talked to talk to you 
It's a TC85 and it's a vacuum forming process. It's a direct printing and vacuum forming process. So have a, uh, have a large gap. It's a vacuum forming, uh, have to be a block out process, making the model. And also, uh, vacuum forming process, there are gap is should be existed when it's put in on, put out process when patient take it. It's uh, there or should be deformed, but PTG is uh, can be deformed during the patient to put in a put, uh, put off process. Uh, they can be com come back to the original shape. Uh, this is uh, our first case when we developing the so TC85 material. It's uh, our CEO Unsop Shim's daughter. She is the first case of our liner. Uh, she is just uh, 12, uh, 12 weeks. So during the 12 weeks, it's uh, very dramatically changed it. Uh, she's tooth is moved. And also Graphy have uh, take the CE class two and KFDA. It's, uh, and USFDA is uh, being processed. It uh, will be soon uh, take the uh, approved. Uh, 3D uh, printing model onto the computer. We can adjusting everything and print it, print it, and so take the final object. It's so a final object can be applied to the uh, orthod orthodontic, even though it's a prosthodontics or whole of the so dental part, uh, dental area. We can we can apply. So appendix is here. Uh, 3D printing resin should be 100% cured. So, uh, not if it, non -sufficient, unsufficient uh, curing, it's an uh, uncured material should be harmful. Uh, so, I wanted to check so our TC85 is uh, safe or not. So, using the GC mass, uh, it's a very famous instrument in the chemical area and it's, uh, the other area also like this machine. It's uh, very sensitive. Uh, I using this machine, is, I checked uh, any extractive tips is uh, dissolved onto the human mouth. Using 3D printing, so aligner and post curing, then after so fully cured aligner we take it, then so there are murmured in the DI water. So during the cert, uh, cert, uh, during the 72 hour at the 37 Celsius, and then after I take the so water and it's analyzing through the GC mass. Oh, <laughs> through this process. Okay, GC mass uh, uh, property uh, and. Uh, uh, I will check the it's a PPM, so meta, methyl methacrylate. The residual me, methyl, methyl methacrylate monomers is a dilution test. I didn't found anything. Thank you so much, Dr. Kim, for that wonderful, informative presentation on the science behind the resin for direct printing of clear aligners. So an excellent presentation. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with Thanks us today. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank uh, you. My, 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 I'm appreciate to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. It's an exciting time in the world of orthodontics. It's going to be an amazing journey to see where we'll go with direct printing of clear aligners. For me, 3D printing has been a game changer in the clear aligner space. I'm excited to see the new developments and being here at the AAO has been an excellent opportunity to see Graphy and the 3D print and resin that's being developed. For more information, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at AlignerBee. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>